Hello, hello YouTube. This is Jorge over at Tomball Ford. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. I'm here to tell you about some changes that Ford is making on their 2018 Ford F-150 and then also telling you about two vehicles that are on their way um, here in the future that a lot of customers have been anticipating now for a long, long time. So stay tuned. First of all, uh, I want to say that uh, you know I appreciate you being here. Thank you very much for uh, watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give me some thumbs up if you found this information helpful. And if you happen to be in the market for a vehicle, I am a sales consultant here at Tomball Ford in Tomball, Texas, and I would be more than happy to assist you in any which way that I can. Okay, without further ado, let's go ahead and start. Uh, first of all, let me tell you that Ford is making some changes on the 2018 Ford F-150. Now, it's, this is not a body style change, it is just a refresh. They're basically changing the front grill, headlight, and bumper area, basically the front part of the truck. Um, it looks um, somewhat different than the F-150, but it still has a little bit of, a, of its uh, features from, uh, from the 2015 and 16 uh, models. Um, the tail light is also different. Uh, it's got a different design on the tail light, and then also the the back uh, tailgate design. It has now a big F-150 logo uh, built into the uh, tailgate itself. Um, on the inside, there's really not much changes. Uh, there's uh, a couple of different color choices, uh, but pretty much Ford kept the interior uh, intact. So there's no changes on the inside um, of the F-150. Uh, Ford is coming with different wheels. Uh, a couple of different colors as well, but uh, really no other changes uh, on the vehicle. Another feature that Ford is coming out with is the automatic braking. Uh, this here is basically uh, the ability to have the truck to stop. If there's a pedestrian or if there's a vehicle in front of you that you're, uh, you're not stopping in time, uh, it uses front sensors on the bumper and then also uses a camera that is built in onto the rear view mirror looking forward. So if you're approaching um, something too fast, too quick, this vehicle will automatically stop itself as well. Is another feature that you have is the class exclusive adaptive cruise control with stop and go technology. So that part is new. We do have the adaptive cruise control already, but we do not have the, uh, the stop and go functionality right, uh, right at this moment. So what I understand is um, if you um, have the vehicle in cruise control and a vehicle in front of you stops, this vehicle will actually also slow down and then it'll regain speed after the vehicle in front of you uh, moves or speeds up. So I'm really curious to, uh, to see how that uh, technology works. Another feature that is brand new are the engines. Okay, so we have a 3.3 naturally aspirated V6 that is replacing our 3.5. That's gonna be our base engine. The 2.7 is coming back, the 3.5 EcoBoost is coming back, and the 5.0 V8 engine is coming back. Those are pretty much unchanged, along with the 3.5 high output engine that's on the Raptor, that's gonna be unchanged for a 2018 Raptor as well. But what's gonna make this a game changer is that all of the engines for 2018 are going to be mated with the 10 speed automatic transmission. Right now, for 2017 and the date of this video, uh, the only engine that has a 10 speed automatic is the 3.5 EcoBoost engine. But for next year, for 2018, every single engine is going to have the 10 speed automatic transmission. Now, the last point I want to make about the engine is that Ford is coming out with a 3.0 power stroke diesel. For the first time ever, Ford has never had any diesel engines on their F-150s and now they're coming out with a power stroke, so a mini power stroke uh, diesel that's gonna be coming out on the F-150s for 2018. So Ford is promising better towing capabilities. Ford is promising more fuel efficiency out of these engines as well. So there's not a lot of information that we have about the power stroke uh, diesel engine, but stay tuned. I'll definitely keep informing you guys so that we are all aware uh, as to what is Ford coming out with the power stroke in the near future. 
Okay, now this is another thing that Ford is coming out with 2018 and I don't know what you guys feel about it and I would love to hear your comments. So comment below. Ford is making every single 2018 F-150 with intelligent idling. Basically, when you come into a stop, if the engine is idling for more than a few seconds and if the weather is permitting, then the engine will automatically shut off. Now, nothing on the inside is going to be turned off. Your, your AC is going to be blowing, your heater is going to be on, your radio, all of the, the electronics on the inside part of the vehicle are going to be on. It's just that the engine, to conserve fuel at that given stop, will shut off automatically. And that's going to be coming for 2018 across the board on every single engine. So I would love to know what you guys feel about it. I kind of like that technology. Um, I don't have it in my personal vehicle, but for next time that I'm going to be uh, upgrading to an F-150, I'm going to get that to see how, um, how I feel about it and have some real life experience with that engine. But so far, uh, you know, I don't mind it. Uh, I've got plenty of customers that have that technology right now out of that 2.7 EcoBoost and no complaints so far. So uh, we'll see how that uh, entails in the future for the automatic auto and start technology. Okay, the last feature that I want to share with you guys that is a change on the 2018 Ford F-150 is that Ford is coming with a premium audio system. It's going to be a 10 speaker audio system created between Ford and Harman. It's going to be called B&O Play and um, I can't wait to, to hear it. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm, I love sound, I love music, and I love the rich bass that you get out of a good sound system. And right now, Ford is lacking a little bit on it from their Sony audio system. So I really can't wait to uh, unleash the music out of this system. It's supposed to be a high-end, a premium sound system. So I'm excited on that part for the 2018 to have an upgraded premium audio system. Okay, I've got two other vehicles that I want to share information on. Uh, Ford is coming out with the Ford Bronco in 2020, and Ford is coming back with the Ford Ranger in 2019. Both are going to be built on the Michigan assembly plant, so everything's going to be staying in the U.S., and um, I can't wait to see these vehicles. And There has been so much hype and so much excitement about these two vehicles coming back. So um, don't have a lot of information on the uh, Bronco or the Ranger, but it is 100% guarantee that Ford is coming back with these two vehicles. So um, as soon as I find information on these vehicles, I'll definitely post videos to keep you guys updated. So please subscribe to the channel so that you guys uh, get these information, get this information as soon as it becomes available. Like I said, I just wanted to share some information with you uh, regarding the 2018 Ford F-150 and the two vehicles that I'm so excited to see in the near future. If you got a question, if there's anything that I can assist you with, do not hesitate to let me know. You can uh, reach out to me on my cell phone or you can uh, write the comments below and ask me a question. And like I said, I'm a sales consultant here at Tomball Ford and uh, I would love, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel to get some further information uh, regarding Ford vehicles. Thank you again and you all have a blessed day.